Think you know Ruby? Well, think again, because this is Ruby Reloaded. If you're into indoor cycling, then you've probably heard of Ruby, but if you haven't logged in for a while, then you can expect a pretty big surprise. Oh yes, Ruby has undergone some fairly hefty changes and ready for 2024, Ruby has revamped itself. Let's go and have a look at how it's changed. If you've read our reviews of Ruby from yesteryear, then you'll know that we're big fans of the concept, the capabilities and the realism of the indoor cycling app. However, it did always have one weak point and that was its navigation around the program to actually access all those excellent workouts, races and rides. I'm unsure if Ruby sacked its old designers and got in some much better ones, but whatever it's done, it's worked. Ruby has a whole new visual identity and it's not just the logo that's changed. The virtual cycling platform has undergone a complete makeover. Rest assured, all the same functions are there, they're just easier to find. And there's also some AI. That's artificial intelligence and not the other AI for any farmers out there. That we'll take a look at in a minute. Since it launched in 2017, Ruby has grown to become one of the most popular cycling apps and has enabled users to ride, race and train on scenic terrain from around the globe. I still remember scouting out Mallorca before going in real life in 2019. If you've ever used it or watched our recent real life versus virtual climbing challenge, then you'll see quite clearly that it's a fair bit different to other indoor cycling platforms, mainly because of the reality level, utilizing real world videos of iconic climbs and race courses. So what will you see now when you open up Ruby after the update? Well, it looks a lot like this. After an extensive nine month revamp, the plastic surgeons at Ruby have addressed my previous niggles and launched a brand new user interface. And I have to say, it is now much easier to navigate. Opening it up, I'm now faced with an entirely new dashboard. Over here, I've got a scrollable list of recommended routes, challenges, events, and training workouts. It's also much easier to find a specific route that I might have in mind. For example, maybe I'll get all nostalgic and go back to Palenza. And then on top of that, the app utilizes artificial intelligence. To me, that sounds complicated, but thankfully all the nerdy clever stuff goes on behind the scenes and what I get is some recommended routes which are perfectly tailored to me based on my previous activities. Let's see where Ruby suggests our ride today. I'm sure there's some people out there muttering to their phone screens right about now, but why do I need AI to tell me where to ride? Obviously, you do still have complete free will over which route you select. We're not slaves to computers just yet. However, when there's over 1,000 real life routes to choose from, from every corner of the globe, I for one appreciate the help. I can't even decide which socks to wear cycling, let alone which route to ride out of a thousand courses. It's fair to say that I'm already unlikely to run out of new places to ride, but Ruby tells us that the number of routes is set to keep growing with the introduction of new routes over the next few months. We've caught wind of 11 new routes so far, including Devil's Tower National Monument in Wyoming, Cime de la Bonnette, which is a regular feature of the Tour de France, and Mallorca's famous Pug Major climb, presumably so I can bonk in my garage as well as on Europe's most famous passes. The next big change is the subscription model. One of my favorite features of Ruby is being able to link up with my mates for a group ride, but now Ruby is taking that one step further by introducing a group subscription plan which they say will make it easier for you to ride with friends and teammates. There are single, duo or group plans. And if you're lucky enough to have a whole five mates, then there's a group model which can cost as little as five pounds a month, provided everyone pays their share. For those who have previously encountered frustrations with Ruby due to technical issues, the latest update promises to leave a much more positive impression. But don't take our word for it. Why not take on the free trial? Anyone can take advantage of the 14 day free trial, but if you use the voucher code in the description of this video before the end of January, then you can have a whole month of free riding to really get to grips with the new software. Oh, and if you're already subscribed, then don't worry, there won't be any changes to your current subscription cost. One other thing I've noticed is that I've got a new bike in my garage, a virtual one, of course. To celebrate all this rebranding, everyone now gets to ride around on a shiny new steed complete in the new colors. There's even more to come throughout the indoor season, so keep your eyes peeled for many more routes and updates. Which new routes are you gonna be trying on Ruby first? Let us know in the comments section down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, then don't, su don't subscribe. <laughs>
Which new routes are you going to be trying on Ruby first? Let us know in the comments section down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. We'll see you soon.